Hi everyone. Today we are starting our new series. Just think art is going places. So while we're staying at home, uh, Just Think Art is going to take you to different places using your creativity and imagination. Um, I live in California, close to the ocean. So I was thinking that for our first art work, let's do a picture with um, uh, where we go sailing in the Pacific Ocean. So you need a rough paper and a fair paper. Right now we're just going to use a pencil, eraser and a sharpie. And then later on, uh, you can color it in whichever colors that you like, okay? You could use uh, watercolors, Sharpies, um, markers, pastels or crayons or color pencils, whatever you like. Uh, so let's begin. And here's my rough paper. I'm going to just do a few shapes, which we are going to use. We're going to do a standing line, a sleeping line, a curve. A wide curve we're going to do like a sad face practice some of these shapes just a circles and the number 11 squiggly lines for the waves and then just use in different sizes like that uneven use um some sad faces and let's see some um what do you just like wavy lines like that okay so practice all these basic shapes now let's get started with our picture do an imaginary line going halfway through or a very light line Okay, then draw a straight line to the right side in the center of the paper. Okay, draw a sleeping line more towards the right. So there's less space on the right, more space on the left, right? I hope everybody knows their lefts and rights. Then draw another sleeping line like that now that's gonna be your sailing ship you draw a straight line going diagonally down like an a and then on the other side the other side of the a and now here you're going to draw your wave to draw some splashes just a wavy line that's your water on your boat you're going to take, make sure you don't draw too dark because you're going to draw this life-saving thing that looks like a donut, which is on the outside of the boat. And then you just draw the lines. And then you draw another line over here. You can decorate your boat if you like. You can give it a name if you like. Okay, now make this a little taller. Okay, there is space from the top. Just look at the position. Now, draw another line coming down like a straw. A thin line coming down, going all the way down. Okay, close it. Now, just go a little under and draw a sideways, a sideways happy face, which goes from the top and comes to the bottom. Now, both places you're leaving a little space. Okay, now again, we are going to draw a happy face, but it's going to go diagonally like an A and it's coming out and it's hanging on top over here on top of your ship. Now, leave this, this particular shape we're going to draw to connect the two lines is going to be light. So draw a light shape coming there. Then take this point and connect it to the shape, your shape, your sail is, there's a string connecting it to the 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 ship okay now we're going to draw the sail from the other side and this side we're going to draw another happy face then a line going down a thinner line and again like a sad face this side it connects to this and there it connects to the boat 
Now extend this line a little bit. We're going to draw a flag on it. So you can draw like a waving flag in the wind. Okay. Now draw some more sad faces on this side for the sail. Okay. Now we're going to draw the sun and some squiggly lines to make clouds. And one more cloud if you want. Go draw some birds flying in over here just like drawing wings and making them a little thicker these are just the wings of the birds here a little away a little higher up where this is we want to draw the ocean line the horizon line okay now so here we're going to just kind of lightly remove these lines and we're going to draw um it depends if you just want to draw you with your brother or sister. If you want to draw your parents, you can pick how many people you want to draw in your ship. So let's draw. start by drawing our first figure. We are going to draw a circle. And the, remember, we're going to draw only half a person. The other half is standing inside. So you're not standing on top of the boat. You're standing inside the boat, right? Inside your sailing ship. So draw number 11, draw a happy face, draw a line coming down slightly and the other side, draw a rectangle coming down, close it and then draw the pants. Here you draw the pocket and the hand, the sleeve, do the best that you can, the hands coming down. Now we, oh, you have to finish your face, so you have to draw your hair, and we can draw some hair and ears. We're going to draw spikes for hairs, and then these are the eyes, and a nose, and a mouth. Just as simple. Then here we draw another person. So we're going to draw maybe a girl who's your brother or sister. So again, we draw a face, maybe slightly larger. Number 11, happy face, shoulders, make a dress coming down to so slightly curve it. Her hand goes behind here and this side she has her hand come in here and then draw the elbow and make it going down. Now you have to give her beautiful hair blowing in the wind. Turn it. Draw the eyes. Mouth. And nose. And plus some bangs if you want. Okay. Now you could draw more people. You could draw your family. You could draw your dad, your mom. Maybe someone who's taking you sailing. So here, maybe I'll give her polka dots on her dress or you could draw whatever design you like. And maybe one more person over here. Um, okay. So this person can be a little taller, like he's an adult. Then I'm gonna draw a, a sad face and a bowl of soup as if he's wearing a backwards hat draw eyes nose mouth give him some hair ears draw number 11 happy face shoulders come down hands now he has hands draw the sleeves like rectangles Maybe he's holding on to something and draw his hand like a curve over here with his hands going around and then here put his hand under or make him hold on to the boat. So this is how we do it. Draw a U and then draw his fingers 
okay and then draw the thumb resting over here so there it is we have finished drawing our figures now we're going to take our sharpie look at the picture see if you want to add more clouds maybe some more birds if you want to add any more details uh, maybe we could give your um uh, your ship your uh, sailboat a name i'm gonna call mine sunny okay and there it is now take a sharpie and outline your nice and neatly Keep going until you finish the whole picture. Make sure you do go over your lines. Draw the donut. Here we can draw some waves splashing. While it's sailing, draw the waves. Draw the ocean. And the strings tying the sails to the edges. Okay. Outline the clouds. Oh, and then here we have our flag. So make sure you go around, the cloud goes around, and the sun is hiding behind the clouds. Okay. Uh, you notice I haven't outlined the people because I want to use a thinner Sharpie, the ultra fine Sharpie for that. So that I can get all the features. So oh, this one's not working too well. Hmm. Draw the hair, the ears. The face, the eyebrows, the nose, the mouth. Because the face has got such fine detail, I wanted to use a thinner Sharpie. And then maybe I could draw some horizontal stripes on the t-shirt. Draw the hands. Pockets. Now let's draw the kids, the young adults. They're all so happy going sailing. Let's draw the girl's hair. Now once you're done, observe the picture, see if you've missed out on any lines, see if you want to go through it, draw anything else. Once you're done, let the Sharpie dry and then go and erase all your pencil lines. And there you go. Your beautiful picture is done. Now take some colors and finish your picture.
so let's start coloring i'm going to use color pencils on all kinds of different mediums and markers too you can use whatever you like whatever works for your picture We're almost done, just adding some white on the waves. Okay. Okay. So I'm done coloring my picture. I hope you guys are all done too. Um, do remember to, this is the picture, do remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.